Hey everybody, this is Will, and uh, you know, I haven't done anything music related in forever, and I was listening to some uh, Timothy Scott McConnell uh, earlier this evening while waiting for backups to run on my dev machine, and um, yeah, I kind of got a wild hair at my butt and decided to play a little in um, one of my favorite alternate tunings. You know, most, most of you know me as a blues musician, know that I play in open G typically, um, well, rare occasions open D, but open G because, uh, when I'm playing blues and st and the like, because that's how I made half my living is as a blues musician playing on the streets, playing this very guitar that I have not picked up in forever until here just recently. Oh, the secret lab chair is not conducive to playing with my broken body. But anyways, um, so I, uh, I decided to play in open G minor tuning which is uh it's just like open g except that second to last string instead of being uh just staying where it was compared to uh on a b you drop it down to a b flat you drop it down a half step and that creates that nice g minor chord sound and, uh, you know, I, like I said, I was listening to Timothy Scott McConnell, uh, Leadfoot. And I tell you what, check out Leadfoot. If you like the sound of some of the licks I'm going to play, check him out. Uh, the guy plays gothic delta blues, basically, uh, is what he kind of calls it. I'm pretty sure he's the one who calls it that. Um, I agree with, I think it's perfect descriptor. But um, he's got some amazing music. Look up, like, uh, What You Mean to Me, or um, uh, what was another one? I'll Dream of You Tonight. Great songs. They're black and white videos. You can't miss them. Look them up on YouTube. He is a fantastic player. He plays slide guitar on a 12 string, uh, which is a challenge. Believe me, I've, I've done it. Uh, and yeah, and he's just fantastic. So without further ado, let, let's actually let you hear some of this. And this is just screwing around. I have not played in months, uh, just because I've been so busy. My pain has been ridiculously high, but I, after listening to Leadfoot, I'm just like, oh, I gotta play again. I haven't played forever. So here we go. Here's a little bit in, uh, open G minor. <laughs> That's all you get, because uh, I've been playing for a little bit now, and oh god, my body, back is killing me, more than my fingers, uh, yeah, but, yeah, so, open G tuning, it's just standard G tuning, but that second to last string, a standard open G tuning, that second to last string, you just drop it down, half a step, that's all it is, and, I t yeah, if, if you feel like you're in a rut, Try it out. Um, it's a fantastic sound um, and gives you a lot of interesting options for what to do, including um, and this is actually the tuning I use when I play House of the Rising Sun. Uh, when I played House of the Rising Sun, I haven't played live in forever uh, just because I can't anymore. But, um, but yeah, uh, it makes it super easy. I'll just show it to you real quick. It's hard to play on this, especially since I've played a while and my hands don't work as well, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap the pick back here. All right. So, so, oh, there's your first chord, then up to the third, but you add, you fret on that on that B string, you fret on the fourth. And that creates that major slide up to fifth fret, and then 
Nope, you just keep going up. And then two power chords, basically. Yeah, and <laughs> like seriously, it's a really, really surprisingly useful tuning. Especially since if you play an open G traditionally, it's easy to switch to. Like, you don't have to do a lot of crazy stuff. You can take whatever guitar you're playing and switch it right there and switch it back. No problem. Won't have any major impact on your tuning. Like, you got to retune the whole dang thing. Uh, it's just one string. And this also works for open D tuning, except instead of the B string, it's the G string that you'll be tuning down. Um... Uh, a half step from open D tuning. So, yeah, fantastic tuning. Give it a shot. If you're in a rut, mess around with it. See if it gives you some ideas. And you don't even have to stay in it because if you've got good, strong hands, um, you, uh, you can even still just, like, fret it. Uh, but you won't be able to do the cool stuff like with the slide. Like, you know... So, fun tuning. I hope this video came out. I didn't bother to do a whole lot of level checking or anything. But yeah, so... <clears throat> that's enough guitar for me. Ow. For tonight. I hope you learned something. Alright. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs>